Probably just gonna go with a uh, just a backpack. My only concern is it drifting to the shed. So we have Dave with the maze dam rope puller right over there. He's getting a little side pull on this one, this one edge over here that we're worried about drifting. All right, but here we go. Set you guys up right back in here. Hey, I don't want you. get it well if I do it like this
let me show you. We're using the uh, we're using this bend right ring. I wanted to do a video specifically, you know, I, I think I did the arrival video for the ring, but I wanted to do a video to kind of show a little bit of appreciation for the company sending me the ring. You know, they sent it to me free of charge to let me try it out, try to give them some advertising. And, uh, it has just been, it's been awesome. I've, I've really liked it. There's an issue if, if you know, if you're here in the States to, uh, to get the ring with a sling. So when they sent it to me, they, they was having issues getting that okayed and uh, being able to ship with the sling. I don't know if the slings were hard for them to make. They didn't meet standards for crossing borders or really what that is, but I told them, I was like, you know, the ring is just fine. I'll figure out a way to make a sling. So that's the one thing I want to show you guys how I set the sling up and then we'll go right back into the video um, the two oak trees that that are being removed here everything will be rigged off of the one ring which is actually two rings in one but um, yeah we, we uh, the one I'm in right now is where all the rigging will be done the one next to it will swing over to this one and lower we just have to watch that air conditioners down there but let me show you guys how I set the sling up so what we have is a whoopee sling loopy sling I don't know which one it is don't really care it's adjustable what it what it'll do is uh, you know you have the two loops in it you have the one loop here and then you have the adjustable loop here that um, you can make the loop bigger if you need, which brings that tail in, or you pull the tail and you make that big loop there much smaller. So, um, nice and adjustable, so you can change it to any spar or limb you're working on, but the uh, you have this stationary end here, which is actually the end that I use to hook the ring up. The ring has a, you know, it's a dual. They're both made together. So that's where you have troubles. You know, if you was to put the sling on one side, it's going to be kind of a little tipsy. Same with the other way. So I just use a girth hitch. I take the stationary loop. We're going to the rest of this and keep it in line. All this over here. So we take it. We're going to put it right into them grooves. And it sets down in there really nice. Okay. Now you still have the loop there. So what to do is uh, just... Pass everything up through it and girth hitch it. Now, I wanted to show this to you guys because uh, you know, if you're interested in the rings, which I I think the rings are the best for rigging, in my opinion. I'm not, not much on the blocks and stuff. I really don't like natural cross rigging if I can avoid it because it tears the ropes up. You know, I do a lot of trimming, and, uh, you know, if you're using natural crotch rigging, you're not taking that tree down, and you're causing a lot of harm in the crotches there that that could hurt the tree. So, uh, false crotch rigging is what I prefer. Better for the tree, safer for me, and I feel like we have way more control. But, there you go. Now, as you can see, the loop here is what you would be worried about being in there. It works perfect. You know, you don't have to have a loopy or a whoopy sling. You could use uh, you could use a lot of things. You know, as long as it's a a looped, um, you know, a sling that's got a got a loop made into it big enough to girth around it. 
So uh, I would take that. That's it. That's what I wanted to show you guys in case anybody was interested in uh, purchasing one of the rings. Uh, you can go to benwright.com. Um, check them out. I really like them. I'm a fan of the X rings. I feel like this is just a innovation to further that and uh, make everything a little more compact and you know as one piece. Anytime you can do that, you don't have a bunch of rings you got to carry, set up, line up, all that stuff. Everything's in one. Gives a nice safe bend radius, which eliminates the smush in the ropes and you know prevents them breaking. When that rope smushes it gets really skinny that's when it's subjectable to break. When you have a bad bend radius that's what creates that smush. They call it the smush effect. It thins the rope out. It's a lot easier to break. So uh, yeah there's that. Hope you guys learned something from it. Hope it helps somebody. And I hope everybody goes out and buys a ring.
wait till you get to the end, put the end through. Adjust the height on. So now, what I want to do is get way out there, try to get this thing tied off out there. I'll click you. That's a granddaddy. That's a good one. Hey guys, let me drop this stuff. 